You know, sometimes people say, Jim, it seems like so many people who are always talking about the love of God really just use it as an opportunity to be unfaithful to God, to, to walk in sin, to do destructive things and cover it all over with just saying, you know what? It's all right. God loves me. Well, you know something? The person that does that, sadly, is just someone who has doctrinal information about the love of God. They're not experiencing their heart. If we experience God's love in our heart, the Bible tells us that some things are going to happen. Number one, we're going to respond to Him in love. We're going to fall in love with Him. And you'll remember, love is about being valuable, precious, holding in high regard. So, so if He's holding us in high regard and considering us precious and treating us this way, and we're actually experiencing it in our heart, then the truth is, that's how we're going to treat Him. And you know what's going to happen next? The next thing is, that's how we're going to treat people. Because the Bible tells us very clearly, if we are not, at this moment, Moment, walking in love toward others, then the problem is at this moment, we are not experiencing God's love. Doesn't mean we haven't met him. Doesn't mean we're not saved. It just means we're not experiencing our hearts. You know something? All of our relationship problems with other people could be solved, not by getting them to treat us right, but by connecting to the God who always treats us right. Everything about our struggles with faithfulness to God could be ended by connecting with him in such a way that we fall passionately in love with him. You know something? My wife loves me passionately, and she is better to me than I deserve. But there has never been one time that I've said, you know what? Brenda is so good to me. I know I can cheat on her and get away with it. Why? I'll tell you why. I don't ever do that. Is because in my heart, I'm thinking, this is so incredible. This is so wonderful. This needs to be protected. I value this more than I value uh, pleasure or satisfying myself. You know something? God wants you to finally discover that the ultimate secret to faithfulness to him, the ultimate secret to faithfulness to your friends, to the people around you, is experiencing his love in your own heart. You know what? If you'll just click below, I will send you an email this Thursday, and it will take you to a short message where you can discover more about this kind of love that effortlessly transforms you into the person you want to be, the friend you want to be, the father you want to be, the wife you want to be. You know, God wants us to feel and experience his love so that we become conduits and channels to the people around us so that they can experience his love through us. Listen, be sure and click right now, and I'll be talking to you this Thursday.